my friends, and Happy New Year. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas and that you're ready to set some goals for the year 2024. Now, before any of you tell me that the new year doesn't actually start until spring and that it's futile to make a video like this in the dead of winter, just know that I almost added removing people like you from my life to the list, but then I remembered I got rid of all my friends years ago. I don't with nobody, I don't go anywhere, I don't go to parties, I barely go outside. Let's face it, in the year 2024, we're going to be spending an excessive amount of time doing what's most important to us, mindlessly browsing social media. So first on my list of trends to leave in 2023 is a type of social media content that's the bane of my existence and refuses to die. That content is the filming yourself nodding along to other people's content content. You guys know what I'm talking about. It looks something like this. Can I ask you one more question? Far away, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, if you have a place and only one place in your heart for one woman, or you want to have one woman in your heart, I think you said, why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful to her? I'm just not wired that way. I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself. I thought you're a man of self-control. You, you work out, you do business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can possess your own, your own power and do, not, direct this is, it the way you want to direct it. not how I am. It's not how I am. I've you think tried. that might be a limited mindset? I think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to live my life on my terms, unapolog uh, unapologetically, mm -hmm. like truly. So uh, you can ask me this 85 different ways. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to walk out of here the same man. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here, guys? Could you imagine being so void of a personality that you gotta film yourself physically agreeing with somebody else's thoughts? Is that where we're at as a society? It's like every year we gotta one-up ourselves on the level of enthusiasm we show people for their recycled half-baked ideas. The less interesting we get, the more interested we act. Back in my day, LOL meant that you were literally laughing out loud. Now LOL is tacked on to the end of a sentence to illustrate that you're feeling nervous. Do you want to go out with me? LOL. We went from LOL to LMAO to LMFAO to ROFL MFAO to LOOOOOOLOMGORFLMFAOYAFLOMFG ha 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 LMAOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
is the motherhood reality trend. If you're not familiar with the world of single women, they often engage in a series of meaningless competitions. And I'm not talking about women's sports, no. I'm talking about who has the biggest boobs, who has the tightest butt, and who can land the highest quality man without being capable of cooking a box of craft dinner. But once women have landed a man of equal value and begin breeding with him, something very odd happens to the world of female competition. It gets flipped on its head from who's the fairest of them all to who's the most disgusting. We've all seen this. Women who grew up with too little or too much attention, I'm not sure which yet, film themselves in compromised states to illustrate the reality of parenthood. In other words, they aim to normalize the difficulties of being a parent. Because apparently we need to normalize something so normal we would literally cease to exist without it. And it's not just the content itself I hate. I have no problem with a good satirical video accurately depicting the human condition. What I have a problem with is the underlying sentiment that somehow sharing this with the world is a virtuous act. Like they aren't just producing it for clicks, but somehow their clogged milk ducts and postpartum depression are saving the world. It always goes something like this. Mom shares gripping photo of what postpartum depression looks like, which apparently is sitting around in your bra with one of your bra straps falling off. Pay close attention to the upside down stroller, which I'm sure she didn't throw down like that for effect. Here she is with a half up ponytail, telling her baby to shut the fuck up. Cute baby rolls and dishes, however do they survive? My goodness, that's a lot of protein powder. This is so much more than just showing a messy playroom. This was meant to bring awareness to something that you simply can't capture in an image physical, mental, and emotional toll that mental illness can take. You know, she's completely right. I do think we need to normalize all of our hardships through a series of artistic photos. So I took it upon myself to do the same. Here's a picture of me suffering after eating day-old Chipotle. And here's me feeling violated by a pap smear. And here's me crying after finding out you shouldn't eat day-old Chipotle the day before a pap smear. I really hope that helped. Everyone knows parenting is hard, so what exactly is the purpose of this shit? To dissuade women from having children? To boost abortion rates? Why do we need constant validation for being weak? Why do we need a perpetual pat on the back for doing the bare minimum? All this has done is created a generation of moms who feel justified in their increasing ineptitude. And don't get me wrong, it's not just the women in these videos and pictures that drive me nuts. The moms in their comments are even worse. Without fail, the moment one of these birth rate reducing posts is published, the Octopurity Mom Brigade swoop in with their opposing virtuous parenting style. They boast about how they have a litter of children under the age of zero and don't skip a beat. They wake up every morning at 3 a.m., get dressed to the nines, clean the house, feed the chickens, collect their eggs, and have breakfast ready for the children by 7.30 a.m. With time left over to wake their husband up with a fresh cup of Folgers and a perfectly manicured reach around. And all of that would be quite admirable if it wasn't a complete lie. Because what those women are always a little less adamant to share is the two nannies and two sets of grandparents they have at their beck and call to wrangle the brood while they post to social media for 10 hours per day. Honestly, if someone can physically show me where a mom of four kids under four finds the time to post to social media all day, I will give them my first million. Which according to my YouTube analytics will be in about three or four centuries. But seriously, does anyone just act normal anymore. I ask that as a rhetorical question, but there really is a reason people don't act normal anymore. And it's because social media has created another trend I hope to leave in 2023. And that trend is extreme binary thinking. A quick Google search will tell you that binary thinking is the tendency to see things in terms of absolutes, like good versus bad or right versus wrong. This type of thinking can be helpful in some situations, but it can also lead to some problems. And boy, oh boy, has it ever led 
to some problems. We now live in a society of thoughtless drones raised on superhero movies and sporting events who are incapable of thinking outside of their false dichotomy. And I don't blame them. From cradle to grave, we're taught to see sides where they don't exist. As children, we're taught history from the perspective of the good guys and the bad guys. Young boys are taken to sporting events where they're encouraged to pick a team, and young girls watch Disney movies where there's a virtuous, innocent princess and an evil queen. And as we grow older, it gets no better. We're inundated with TV shows and movies that feature themes of good and evil. And lessons on good and evil can be beneficial if they're taught in conjunction with nuance and context, but the nuance and context are nowhere to be found. A natural result of developing your worldview from 30 second Instagram reels. And not only that, we're hardwired for tribalism. Our inherent instinct to belong to a group makes us see the world from the perspective of us versus them, which again can be very beneficial if the distinction between us and them is clear, but very detrimental when it's not. Binary thinking is the reason people believe you gotta be pro-Hamas in order to be anti-Zionist. It's the reason people believe you should be denied a hospital bed if you didn't get vaccinated. It's the reason you believe Lady Ballers was a good movie. So let's normalize normalcy. Let's normalize the real alpha males who reject feminism by quietly supporting their wives. And let's normalize the wives who keep their families together without whining, but also without boasting. Let's normalize having friends we don't always agree with and conflicts with no good guys and no bad guys. There's a quote I'm often reminded of when I think of the current upside down state of the world. And the quote goes, well-behaved women rarely make history. I'm sure you've heard it before, often touted by feminists to justify their erratic and belligerent behavior, but this quote has been severely misinterpreted. What Laurel Thatcher Ulrich meant when she said this was that the ordinary and compliant rarely get attention or credit for their accomplishments. It was an homage to the domesticated women who took care of their families and shut the f up about it. So this year, I hope you'll join me in my resolution to opt for the ordinary over the extraordinary. Or as Trey Kennedy puts it, do less God bless. All right, guys, that's it for me today. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some other videos from my channel. Also, if you want to support me in this channel, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. I post two long-form videos there every month. All right, bye!